Who's it going to be? How's it going to be done? Let's find out together. 35 laps for the Big Block Modifieds at the pole position raceway starting point. We are green. As we get ready to go green, Matt Williamson, Rich Scalata, as we are back underway. Peter Britton back out on the speedway, catching up in the tail of the field. Wiesner to the top side, right on the bottom as they bring it off a of turn number four, and Danny Wiesner looking for the lead, and he'll have it as they head into turn number one and two. As the field works their way off of turn number four, Danny Wiesner down into turn number one. He's opened up a full straightaway over the number 19 W of Justin Wright into turn number one and two. As they work their way down into turn number three, your race leader, Danny Wiesner, is on the gas. He is just rocketing and rim riding around the top side through turns number three and four, bringing it down to the line, and he is picking up the most off those turns as now Mahaney takes over the two spot from Justin Wright into turn number one. We are halfway home this time by for Danny Wiesner. As now Alan Johnson has moved his way up to position number three around the 19W of Justin Wright. Mahaney trying to hold off Alan Johnson as they race off a of corner number two. As Justin Wright still holds on the third, Elvin Payne is fourth. Caution on the speedway. Ten laps to go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any fingernails, start chewing them now as we are back underway. Mahaney on the low side. Danny Wiesner stays to the top side. Alan Johnson, Tim Fuller as they charge into turn number one and two. Now Fuller in the 19, up to position number four as he swings it to the top side, challenging Alan Johnson as Mahaney down to the inside into turn number one. Mike Mahaney enters corner number two. Oh, and Wiesner jumped the cushion, and Mahaney's your new race leader. Wiesner to the top side one more time, trying to keep the pace with the 33 of Mahaney as he's able to keep Alan Johnson behind him with six laps to go. Off the turn. It's now Alan Johnson second, as again, the Wiesner 77 off the cushion in turn number two. A.J. Biden this time, hitting his marks. Off of turn number two, Alan Johnson takes a peek to the top side. Can't make it work into turn number three. Now A.J.'s gonna roll it through the middle. Mahaney down on the bottom. Wiesner on the extreme top side. White flag is out and a half mile to go. Will it be win number one or win 119? Wiesner's gonna make a bid on the top side. Wiesner's looking to make it high, wide, and handsome. Off of turn number four, Mike Mahaney is first. Canada will win. Alan Johnson second. It'll be Danny Wiesner third. Fourth will be Fuller. Fifth will go to Matt Williamson. Big smile on his face. The Skips Racing, Holmes Appliances, Jeevo's Rears and Gears Ride. I haven't seen his dad run this fast in ages. Look at this guy. The Wiesner. <laughs> Congratulating his son in victory lane. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause? His first candidate will win, Mike Mahaney. How about that, man? Your first win here at Canada well, how's it feel? Unbelievable. Uh, this, this is a tough place to race, and we really found out that this year when uh, we decided to come here and run weekly. And it's an awesome place to race, um, but it's been hard figuring it out. And um, I'm very proud of our team for sticking with me and you know it's been some hard times throughout the year but uh to get this win i'm sure will get us through the rest of it listen i don't think a lot of people understand what you guys go through on a weekly basis i mean you're running three different race cars and three different series and three different tracks how do you keep track of everything you know, it's very hard. It's a lot of notes and a lot of, uh, <laughs> I don't know, you don't get a lot of sleep. Um, these guys don't get a lot of sleep. It's just, they work so hard, and I, I can't thank them enough. I want to thank Skip for, for giving me this car to run. Uh, he's having knee trouble, and 
uh, means a lot to, for him to be helping me out when uh, he's not even able to walk right now. And uh, Olums, Jeevo's Rears and Gears, Chop Crane, uh, all my friends and family who come here to support me, all you fans that come out to watch every week, appreciate it. Let's talk about the race. Car looked like it wanted to work on the low side of the speedway. Two to go. You look up at the scoreboard. You see that number 14. He's got a lot of laps here. What are you thinking? Well, I needed to hold my composure and just not slip off the bottom. I know that's where he wanted to be. Um, as, and Dan Wiesner was really fast on the top side, and I, that, I think that caution helped me a little bit and uh, just got us to, you know, caught up to him, got to regroup. And uh, um, as that top side went away, the bottom was where it was at, and uh, I'm glad we stuck to it. You know, I've been doing this racing gig a long time, and I'm going to share this real quick. You know, the first modified race I ever announced, you know who won that race? My dad. Your dad won that race, yes. The very first modified race I ever announced. And I'm glad to see you in victory lane here, man. And I'm hoping maybe you'll do me a favor. Would you mind if we got one of those victory lane so? <laughs> of course. All right, right here. Ladies and gentlemen, his first Canandaigua win, Mike Mahaney. Congratulations, man. Super job. Thank you, everybody.